Hello folks, um, today we're going to talk about floppy drives. Um, one of the reasons I uh, revived this uh, old Dolge computer was to be able to uh, play with uh, some old floppy drives. The, 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 the real floppy drive, the five and a quarter one, the one where the disk is actually floppy, you know. <laughs> and. Um, I need to access those so I can uh, work with older floppies on my HP equipment and it's fun in general. And I thought it would be a piece of cake to uh, hook them up and it turned out it wasn't. Uh, so uh, I thought I would make a video for my own benefit to remember what I did and for anybody else that wants to hook up a floppy. Uh, the first problem is that floppies are unbelievably unreliable. And it's not only the mechanical or the uh, heads that go bad, those are easy to clean, but it's just, it's, these are, it's, I don't know if it's me, but three floppies that were bad that I tried to hook up to the system. So that's the original floppy in the Dolch. That was bad, it's perfectly clean, it's the uh, electronics that bad. Um, it has a disk fail error, so eh, that goes. Then I tried, I, this is the first five and a quarter floppy that I tried. And this was bad in writing. It reads correctly. Actually, it writes, uh, but it writes at the wrong density. So there's something wrong with the density selection. That's bad. Head's perfectly fine. This one was bad mechanically. It's, it's missing the top hub. And then it wouldn't work. <laughs> I found out inside my computer, my Dolch, because on the other floppy, whatever I did with it that I tossed out, it's a slim line, there's a little adapter and it has a card on it and this card has some redrivers and the redrivers, you know, when you put something else on the bus, they screw up this one. So that wasn't good either and that wasn't good either. All right. So the first thing you have to uh, figure out when you uh, work with five and a quarter disk drives is the jumper settings. Those are dumb devices and uh, the computer can't recognize them and it can't recognize the computer so you have to figure them all yourself so basically here they are right all the jumpers and it's extremely poorly documented uh, but they are usually all the same so I wrote them down here fortunately I have a little bit of writing TM termination uh, so that should be on most of the time when you try to drive by itself. Um, if you have two drives on the chain then uh, you might remove one of the terminations. Then DS0 to DS2 are uh, the most important. They are drive select um, but they are mostly intended for other computers than the PC. And the PC is totally unobvious. Uh, the only thing that can work with is DS1 uh, which sets it up as a B. You would, you would suppose you could do DS0 and have it be the A drive. No, 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 that's not how it works. It's the world of PC, nothing makes any sense. So you can only set them as DS1s. And so they are B drives naturally, and I should, uh, know the cable then has twists in it to change it into, into an A drive. I'll show you later. So what, that was my first mistake. I set it the, as an A drive and it didn't work. Then you have the IU, which is the in-use, and it's just for the little LED light in here. Um, uh, and depending on the settings, it you know, lights up when either the drop motor is on, which is what I like, or the motor is on and the disk is actually accessed, and they're more complicated things. So this one is actually, you can put it any way you want. Uh, then there's the motor setting ones. Uh, these are quite important. And on this one, they were undocumented, but I finally figured out what uh, it is. MS1 is uh, auto density switch, uh, which is what you want. This guy is a uh, HD drive that can also read at the lower density. I'll show you how that works. And uh, you want the computer to be able to con control that. So MS1 to be jampered. Uh, this one is a uh, very important one is disk change already and uh, PC wants disk change and it happened on this one to be with the jumper wired in on others the jumper wired out if you don't put that one correctly it will complain that the disk is not in there so this is important 
And MS2, this one I also found the hard way. This is a multiple uh, speed drive and uh, it can use the 300 or 360 RPM uh, and you want to put it in 360 with a, with a PC. Uh, so that was jumper off. Uh, and here is my uh, double density drive. I'll go over densities pretty soon. This one has uh, the jumpers are different. So, just for example, this one has um, an FG jumper. That's a common one. That uh, means uh, chassis to ground. So this one usually has to be on. Uh, here you have a lot more uh, user light. UO, UI, U2, uh, and there's an IU here. Uh, and the famous uh, DS0 to DS3 here, they're called D0 to D3, and it has to be always D1 jumper as a B. Uh, the drive ready on a lower speed doesn't matter, so it worked on with both settings. There's a motor setting, which I couldn't figure out what it is, and, uh, and the UE. So this one has only two jumpers on it. It's simpler with lower density. All right. So once you have figured out your jumpers and uh, assuming you have drives that work correctly, I put them in this magnificent box of old five and a quarter uh, disk drives. Uh, you have to connect them, and it's an obvious too. So the um, older drives uh, come with a different uh, connector than the modern floppy drives. Uh, it's a board edge, card edge connector, which is this type of things. The modern uh, drive, modern floppy three and, uh, and a half, they come with this um, type of connector, which is IDC. Uh, so you need a cable, and uh, I soon discovered there were a zillion million cables, and very few do work the right way. So. Finally, I found the one that you actually want, which is something like this. And it has the one that goes on the motherboard, then it goes straight. And then here you have a pair of connectors, one for uh, the motor interface and one for the old uh, five and a quarter interface. They are the same number of pins. This is the exact same number of pins. So you could put a modern floppy over here or an old floppy over here, and they would be B drive as you had jumper them, though the natural uh, natural way. Then the cable goes on, and you have this wonderful thing here, which is a twist. And what happens here is that it exchanges yes zero with yes one, and it also exchanges the motor settings. And here you have another pair of connectors where you can put once again a modern and an old floppy. But if you connect them here, they will appear to the computer as the A drive. And the reason you cannot jumper them as A and put them on the you know, straight section of the cable is that it would recognize them as A, but the motor control doesn't switch. Don't ask me why. That makes no sense at all. It should, but I know this is engineered to be cheap. So once you have the right cable, then you are all good. Uh, so this one is wired straight inside. So this is a B. Uh, the A is connected to my internal drive here, so uh, let's connect up the, um, let's do the, the low density drive, it's more fun to see it work. Uh, so it just goes in here, and this one happens to be a regular computer power, so off you go. And uh, now we can play. Oh, folks, on the topics of cable, I forgot to mention, it's actually even more complicated than that. Uh, on the plug that goes into the computer, on the motherboard sides, there are three types of them. Uh, and the one you probably don't want is this one, where it has a blocked pin. And uh, it, uh, let me try this, so you get a, a plug like this on your motherboard. And some have one pin removed, and this one doesn't have one. So if you get this and that, you're screwed. You can't do anything. Uh, so most use uh, the orientation with a boss over here. So you can get this guy, which has a little boss, and it goes this way. 
Uh, but the one you really want is the universal one uh, that, uh, where is that guy? That has neither a uh, plugged pin nor a boss. Uh, that the only problem with it is that then you can insert it wrong or right. Uh, so when you have one like this, the right way is when those notches are over here. They go on the notches where the mother uh, board connectors are. Another way you can tell is that there is a cable that's marked red and it has to be on the same side as here and uh, this is uh, number 34 so it has to be this way and then so to make things more complicated here so here is universal plug with a twist to go to an old guy this is a plugged one with a twist this is straight to straight and that would only go with an A and it has a boss um, and this is actually the one I'm using right now uh, uh, boss on the motherboard an extension which I move to my A drive internally and that's the uh, B plug of the modern drive on the other side so that's what is hooked up like this so quite a pain those cables so okay, now we have drives that work. They have been jumper properly. Uh, we have put them on the right cable with the plug that actually do plug in in the hardware we have. So we get to play with it. Well, not that fast. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, because the computer can't recognize them on its own. You have to go into the BIOS first and configure it absolutely exactly the way you put your drives. If not, it has no way to discover. So it happens to be in the first uh, page of this particular BIOS. So you go down, 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 down. And here you have the drive settings. Let me see if I can make it bigger for you. Right. And uh, this one is configured as my internal diskette is hooked on A, so it has a twist cable and it goes to diskette, uh, which is a standard 3.5, 1.4, 4 megabytes. And I just hooked up the uh, old three, uh, 5 and a quarter drive, and this is a double density, so if you choose double density, it's 360K, 5 and a quarter. Um, the choice is here uh, only depend on your BIOS. Uh, so not all computers have it, so this is why I need to go to an older computer. So this one, the choices are 360K, that's a double density, I'll explain what that is. Nothing, if you don't... Uh, 2.88 megab megabytes, super high density, the regular uh, floppy, a low density floppy, 720K, of also the smaller form factor, 3.5, the modern one. And then I have only two choices in the older uh, five and a quarter, which is the 1.2 meg, that would be HD drive, or the 360K, which will be the double density drive, DD. Uh, and if you don't put this correctly, then when it boots, it's going to go give you a floppy fail. Uh, okay, let's try that. Uh, let's put a 1.44, do escape, F10, yes. And it will reboot it. All right. So let's go escape that. It did test the drive, you heard them, but it gives me a floppy disk fail. And that tells me that either my hardware is bad, or if your hardware is good, uh, that you have set the wrong type. And here what I did is I put a HD type instead of uh, a, a double density, a DD that it was. So, uh, let's go back into uh, the setup here, and I'll show you a few more options. So let's put it back 
O as a three and a half disk. All right, so this is what it is. Escape, and this one has an other BIOS feature that you have to check is swap floppy drive uh, and this will swap A to B and B to A uh, which is a very convenient feature uh, if you want to uh, switch booting off a old floppy or a new floppy or the, the inside one so make sure this one is disabled uh, then yes I want to change out of here so you can see the floppy seek over here so the first thing you should see confirmation that you have you hook it it upright is that during post um, ah, I forgot to show you the setting but it does a seek you can disable that but don't you want the, the BIOS to seek for the disk and it showed that it did it, so it recognized that this is hooked up properly and now it uh, went into my bootloader so I can quadruple boot this machine and I'll uh, know I have Windows NT which is the original Windows XP and Windows 98 or DOS uh, right now I have my Windows 98 to boot straight into DOS so I'll just go to the prompt and where is it? Uh, let's put a this on it. Right, double density, and I should be able to go to B, and I can do a directory of it. So blah blah blah, it works. Um, so before we go any further, uh, I need to go into more explanations of what a disk drive actually, how it actually works.